Well, despite the rhetoric from Australia and around the world, a government's finding itself getting in the way of business more rather than less. I think this essentially happens in four different ways. A government's acting as a commercial partner of business, either as a supplier or a customer, but they're also um, acting as an essential approver so that business projects require government approvals to go ahead. Government's also regulating more of business, not less. So they're able to create a circumstance where your business is more successful or your competitors less, and you want to have an input to that, or of course vice versa, where you want to have an input as well. And finally, governments are more often uh, providing direct financial support for business. What that means is that businesses really need to take government very seriously. And in the same way that you wouldn't represent yourself in a court case, but you'd have a professional barrister do so, and the business would never put in its own tax return without the advice of an accountant, it's becoming more and more important that business really understands that government's not a black box and that there are professional advisors out there who can help them. Now, you know, as we look at the potential of another economic downturn, this is going to become more important, not less, because government will be seeking to stimulate private sector activity, uh, both through economic stimulus, but also through freeing up approvals. I think as well, government will become the last man standing. So where businesses have been successful in B2B work, I think they're increasingly going to be looking at B2G sales. And for all of these reasons, I think we're heading into a period where professional advice on government relations is going to be at an all-time level of importance.